Yes, I'm very excited to go forward from this uh, experience because people who really choose to be part of a group uh, was now forced to work alone. So I think we will draw a lot of uh, insight and uh, know more about ourselves and each other from what everybody choose to do uh, during this period. Because some people really got into learning new things and some people felt a lot of angst and uh, a mixture of both. And um, I think it was a very healthy uh, thing in a way because what we never have time to do is to reflect. Mm -hmm. In our everyday life, we're always chasing, you know, the salary for the next month or the next um, grant or the next idea or networking, you know, it's always running, running, running. And now we were forced to slow down and to uh, have time to reflect is so valuable. And I think it's very close to the most important role of the, uh, of the artist to go inside the core and then come out and show something that is of value for the society. And uh, if we never have time to go inside, what can we show? So I'm very grateful for this period. And I know I am in a very uh, privileged position to say, oh, it's so interesting. Oh, it's, I'm so grateful because we didn't die, because we didn't lose everything. And some people are losing everything. And some people are being very much victims of violence, of uh, injustice. But it, this uh, situation really puts the finger on something about loneliness and togetherness, the individual and the group, and uh, like the citizen in the society. So I think a lot of things are much clearer from this simultaneous experience that we're having. And some of the things that are showing are not so pretty mm -hmm. that we learn now. We know, but we know more how in it's so unfair life and society. And this has been very clear. What is this? What I mean, is it's, unfair? Uh, it's unfair that people have very different physicality. We are not equally strong. And uh, strength is also different. Like some can be strong in physically and but not mentally. And some are strong in their social connections and some are strong in their loneliness. Um, but it's not fair. Everybody didn't get equal amount of everything, obviously. We know this, but this has been so painfully clear now. When we perform, there's some things that we can use that are not uh, dangerous for the pandemic, but the gaze how we look and how we sort of look, you, we use the lover's gaze with the audience, like we draw in to uh, this, and also the voice that can carry through and like sort of grab hold of the, your intestines when you use your own intestines when you sing. Um, but uh, we've come to this point now in August, we have this uh, intense training program for two weeks. And we decided to do everything that we can to keep it safe with hygiene, with a small group, with uh, no risk uh, person, like only young people and no international guests and so forth, so forth. But to, to include touch, to have a real weight sharing, because this is uh, too important. We had a very big like tsunami of uh, Zoom meetings and the stream live stream and the filmed performing arts. And I mean, who bothers to watch that crap? I mean, I don't. We cannot, we just have to wait out certain things. This is what we do. We're in the same room at the same time and you can feel the smell and you can feel the stomping of the floor, and the vibrations of another human being. This cannot be negotiated. 
you are talking about as well this training, this physicality, what you want to continue, even taking the risk of uh, risk is everywhere, but if you want direct working with another person within the training, this risk is, is growing up. Uh, you mean that uh, without this risk, uh, theater is not existing? Um, I think uh, that's an obligation to take some kind of risk, but the risk is usually more artistic of making a fool of yourself or getting bad reviews or making a bad show or something. It's not usually that someone might die. Maybe not you or the first person, but maybe the seventh person. Uh, so I feel like in this uh, time, we also show that we are part of the society. We are an important part of the society. So, and also in, in Sweden, that is a very secular country. We are a kind of uh, organization where it can carry matters of the soul, matters of existence, that people don't turn to the church here to do. To. So for us to be like, well, right now, let's stay home, let's stay safe, rest, long for days to come when we can meet, and to say it's fine also, to not be crazy and take crazy risks. I mean, we also are parents, we are daughters and sons. We don't want people to be uncareful with their lives. It's much, it, life is more valuable than art in my book. So the, the risk that I'm talking about that we are taking at the theater at this moment, is also to choose wisely between the different exercises. There's lots of stuff that you can do back to back mm -hmm. uh, and so forth and not spit in each other's faces, even if that's fun too, but you know, to see the nuances, to not be everything or nothing, but to handle risk with a clear head and a warm heart and clean hands as, as they say. The question for you is, more direct what is the our task for like the people and like the theater people yeah i mean i think uh, the big lesson i think right now is again we have had a chance through this crisis which is a place of growth to find a new balance and to not go back to everything that was normal before but to find a new balance with more time to, for reflection and more listening and maybe more tenderness and inclusion and small scale and respect for nature or I mean all of these things that could be part of a more balanced approach and I think for me a, a crisis is great you know and when it's over just to keep working with with the experience that we've had and to draw the some conclusions but keep working to make theater yes you think that the theater will change i mean right now we have the we can only gather 50 people at the time like in our country yes, yes. so this is one very specific concrete thing that things now have to be small and for us for me 50 is a good audience you know that's a nice size of a group uh, I mean not if you really wanted 700 but if you know that this is what you're going to do I think uh, intimacy is something that could come out of this as a very big value and for the audience to feel like selected but we don't want to go back to only have white upper middle class 50 people. You know, part of the, our experience um, that there hasn't been a complete lockdown here, that much has been left to the citizens to be wise and to keep the distance and wash their hands and think to themselves if they are ill, to stay home and all of that. And from the theater point of view, it has been quite moving actually, the way that our welfare system has really been very fast in uh, reaching out towards small institutions and artists 
and uh, trying to help. So for us, we've, I feel we have had the support of um, the municipality and the region and the state from like day one. Um, so yeah, it has been an experience of uh, feeling the strength of our society actually and our democracy. That has been one important part of the thing. We got a big contract uh, in the worst period that we had here in Stockholm in April. We at once got a big contract to go and uh, perform for people who were very isolated, the most vulnerable, uh, to old people's homes and to homes where people with different disabilities and they were vulnerable because of different physical factors of heart uh, operations and such. Uh, so we could immediately get, rally up our old uh, uh, ensemble and perform outdoors, sometimes four stories up, the audience were, and we could sing very loud to them and ensure them that they were not forgotten and they were not alone. And this was very useful for our health as well. Uh, to be together somehow. I mean, we were very careful not to go inside, not to cross any paths with the very sensitive people that we wanted to protect. And we were also making sure that we were never sick when we came on site. But since the crew has been working together for 20, 15 years, we could, everybody came in their own car, met 15 minutes before the show started. And then everybody had their own costume and their own props in their own car and just met, did the show and everybody left. So I don't know how we can go back to rehearsing, going together and be very thorough before every gig. Because this worked as well. 